Hi, I'm Emily and today I'm going to show you how to make a weather chart or seasons board that your kids can have hands-on experience learning weather, moon, and seasons. Today with our nature club we studied the autumnal equinox and if you don't know what that is don't worry I'm going to explain it in a little bit but um, I posted a picture of this board on Facebook and it generated so much interest that I thought I would show you kind of how I made mine and um, this is all hand painted on a board here it's about four feet in length and I'd say it's about three quarters of an inch thick and about eight inches uh, wide as I'm going along, I'll tell you the materials that I used so that you might want to use them too. So before we get started, if you are interested in parenting videos or homeschooling and other family life content, then go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell so that you can get notified when we have new content. So I'm just going to walk you through kind of step by step how I started this. I started by planning out uh, on paper what each of the wheels would include. So that included the, the seasons and the moon and the weather, the stars, and, as well as this kind of general information over here. And planned it all out for size. You could do this on any size board. Um, just make sure you kind of plan it in there, how it'll all fit. Uh, even cut out your circles and put them in. If you are wondering how to make perfect circles, I have a video, go check it out about how to make perfect circles and the tools that you need to do that. Now I saw several of these on Etsy. Um, they weren't to this great of depth. Um, I think they were called weather boards or season boards or a Waldorf, uh, Waldorf? I think I'm saying it wrong. Um, <laughs> um, perpetual calendars. So they kind of go by all kinds of different names, but um, let me let me show you and start with the seasons how it works so we just had our autumnal equinox on the 23rd of September and you can see I've got my little dial here now the materials that I used is actually just the cheapy craft paint from Michaels it comes in a set of 24 I think or maybe 12 there's probably an option for both and I just painted what I felt uh, was kind of some folk art and um, Put the, put the seasons on here. We are going counterclockwise around the sun, so I reflected that with the, the months going counterclockwise. And put the, the um, autumnal equinox and the vernal equinox and the winter solstice and summer solstice here. And I got the months in there, just going around. So I have my kids actually set this. So we when we've done some nature journaling or something, um, we often need to have all this information listed on our pictures. So we uh, set it and then the, my girls can look at it and reference what is going on in the, in the season so that they can record it. Woo! Just let you take a look there. And if you're interested, because I know you are, I'm going to be having a video soon about the solstices and the equinoxes so that um, it's simple and easy to understand. Woo, had to get some fabric there because it was really slipping around. So over here, uh, I haven't actually done it yet, but this is for chalk paint and so that we can put the sunrise and sunset times here. But um, I haven't actually, because I covered this in Mod Podge when I was done to kind of bring the shine back up and to protect it, I haven't put the chalk paint back in. So now we're going to move to my favorite, the moon. So obviously we have the earth here. This inner circle is showing what the moon is doing and our view here of what the moon is. And then this is out, the outer circle here is what we're actually seeing. So uh, we love to set how the moon is going. Again, it goes counterclockwise. Even though my numbers are going the wrong way because momentarily I forgot and put them in just like a clock. Um, I can't figure out quite how to come in and fix that. But uh, the background here is with watercolor because um, the stars and the, the purpler sky is to show the night, that these are the moons that we see during the night. And these are the moons that we see 
during the daytime or or don't see during the daytime and again this was going to be chalk paint that uh, was going to have moonrise and moonset that we could put in there daily so there's some little extra things here like how the Big Dipper moves around Polaris and just some little little tidbits there let's move on to the weather so now this is really fun um, the dials are made with popsicle sticks that have been kind of wood burned along the edges to kind of give them some definition and I've kind of whittled them down and then these are um, upholstery tacks actually and there's a little piece of felt underneath to be able to allow for glide and um, I've just had all the, the weather here and it listed the types of clouds and uh, my girls absolutely love setting this and going outside and really checking on what are the clouds doing and this has really helped because I've always wanted to understand all these cycles and just looking at a textbook it just really doesn't it just really doesn't hit the mark you know so um, we like to guess which direction the wind is going because currently we don't have a wind sock but a wind sock would be a really fun investment um, the, your phone app, your weather app, will actually tell you which direction the wind is coming from. And we like to set that and we like to... And before I continue with this side of the board, uh, be sure to be on the lookout for our merchandise that we're going to have. I'm going to have some uh, mom and dad shirts and some apparel that is uh, nature and homeschooling and, and family life related. So be on the lookout for that. It's going to be cool. And we're back. So here I have the astronomy uh, constellations, and though I'm not into astrology, uh, it is really fascinating to know that the month that is dedicated to each star symbol is or constellation is setting with the sun. The sun is setting, you don't see it in the month that it is. So this is September, late September, and Libra is setting with the sun, so it's no longer really visible at night. And um, so that's been a really fun study to figure out what exactly are the stars doing and why are they why are they up there and why have they been used as a calendar for so long. And over here we have, um, like I said, we set this up for when we've done nature journaling and we want to have all the information so I don't have to write it on a, a chalkboard for my girls to know what the day was, what everything was the the month the year everything is all right here uh, again this is a chalkboard piece where you're supposed to put the the year uh, we we mark if it's a.m. or p.m. we mark which day of the week it is and what time that we observed whatever it was in nature that we had just observed and the date and then this is really fun because we do love to guess what was the weather and um, so we set it we're like it was I think it was 82 degrees and then we go and look it up on the app and see who is the closest and that's a really fun uh, activity for us so that is the board my seasons board my phonology wheels and if you want to check it out on Instagram there's some close-up pictures there too so for the materials again I just used the, the cheap acrylic paint and some nice watercolors. The wood really responded well to the watercolors and I had two different thicknesses of pens, um, both water, waterproof uh, Faber-Castell pens that were a lot nicer. And so this is the thicker pen and this is the thinner pen to get the writing just right. And it was uh, really fast and very accurate. So that's it for my weather chart or seasons board as you've seen it and I would love to put some hooks at the ends and hang it on the wall but I have no wall space because as a homeschooler I have too many bookshelves so where do you hang things in your house <laughs> um, but definitely if you end up making one of these please tag me on your Instagram or your Facebook uh, at with the pod because I would love to see what you added to it I think that good additions would be uh, if you lived near the ocean that you could put um, a chart for the tides or um, I don't know there's all kinds of things that you could put that you're tracking through nature that uh, creates a cycle 
So let me know in the comments what you would put on yours. And if you like this video, please consider subscribing and find us on Facebook and Instagram. There are more pictures in detail on Instagram and Facebook, so you'll definitely want to subscribe there and ring the notification bell so that you know when we put new videos up and we have lots more videos in the works. And uh, we'll see you soon. And a great addition to this project here is our nature journaling video. I think it's floating about right here. And if you can go watch that, that would be great and inspire you and your kids to get nature journaling and going on nature walks and observing all this in person. And if you're just starting out in homeschool, congratulations, you've joined the club. There is over here, I think it's over here floating, um, a video on how to get a planner started as well as how to make your, your homeschool vision, your homeschool creed. So I'll have the links over there.